Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now, I'd like to invite you to a general reading which is open to all zodiac signs. So, just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, you might get a message for you. Let us try to see what is the main energy at the start of the day. Wow, we have here the world. A completion of something and you completed it with flying colors. Congratulations. So, Whatever you have accomplished right now, you did it well. And uh, it's not only the people around you who are celebrating with you, but the whole universe. And you are, I feel that whatever that experience was, you have learned a lot of things from it. So it's a beautiful card. Now, what can we expect in the near future? Well, it's nice. We have here the strength card. So another positive card. It shows that uh, you will become stronger, braver, with greater courage, maybe even greater wisdom. Because you hear, you see here, the lady knows how to approach the lion. She knows somehow she can sense the energy of the lion. So she knows how to adapt to the lion. She has already attained a certain degree of maturity based on her life experiences and her deepened relationship with the spirit, with the divine. So here, she knows, she knows how to adapt to the situation so it's like that when you mature you are you become more sensitive to the energies of your environment energies also of the people and things around you so you are able to adapt m much better and you it's easier for you to win people or to win situations into your direction and at the same time you will be very creative you have creative ways of getting things done uh, you also have that confidence when you encounter a challenge. You look at it as an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to move forward. It no longer scares you. It, the fear is there. It's still there. But uh, they say courage is not the absence of fear, but the conquer of fear. So in a certain sense, you are already used to the usual fear you encounter when something new begins. And so you are able to address the fear in a creative way. And a big part of it is because you are always guided by the spirit. You are very intuitive. And so you are able to adapt to life situations faster and more creatively. So this is what we have, the strength card. So these are very positive cards. So it seems like you are progressing. You are undergoing rapid transformation at this time. Now, what is the advice of the universe for you? Well, it's time for you to lay down your burdens. It's time for you to declutter your life, to try to see what are the things that prevents you from moving forward with greater speed. You see, this one is like a track and field runner. She works with people, and uh, just like the strength card, she works also with people, even difficult people, but they are able to accomplish things. Now, there, as you try to accomplish your challenges each day, there are some things that are a burden to you. Somehow, your enlightened person is able to discern which are the things that are not helpful. It's time for you to lay them down. For those relationships or situations that you know are not helpful to you, it's time for you to lay them down. Or sometimes if you have already done your best, sometimes you know already, uh, sometimes the divine will bring you to a certain situation where they need your services. But then after you've, by intuition, you realize that you have already done your part, it's time for you to endorse it. Or it's time for you to leave it behind. So sometimes when we look at this card also of the Ten of Wands, uh, you plant the wands so that they will grow on their own. So everything that you've done, everything that you have accomplished, you can either entrust it to other people or make it self-sufficient so that when you leave it behind, it will still continue to give positive influence to the world. But sometimes there are certain things that we need to let go. So somehow the universe is inviting you to declutter your life. Those things that are no longer helpful, let them go. So that you will continue to be able to run the race fast, efficiently, and creatively. So with courage also. So this is our tarot reading for today. I hope you were able to benefit from it. Let us now go to the second part, which is the self-care tip. For our self-care tip, 
it comes from Buddha and the message is your work is to discover your world and then with all your heart give yourself to it so our for our first mission in this lifetime is is to discover ourselves and what we are being inspired by the divine to accomplish in this life once we discover our passion which is usually related to our special mission our special song then the the next step is to live it to the full to put our self into it to put all our heart into it so our work is to discover our world our work is to discover who we are meant to be and then with all your heart give yourself to it so discover your passion and live your passion to the full give your best to the achievement of your passion give all your spirit your heart your mind your soul your body everything all that you can do achieve excellence you give it your best when you live your life to the full you give it your passion then you will be accomplishing what you are meant to do so discover what you, what is your passion discover who you truly are and once you have these things give your heart into living out this passion this passion that is burning from within so this is our good morning tarot and i hope you were able to gain some insights from it thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i look forward to seeing you again soon until that time may god continue to bless your ways